Now, you may not know this, but one of uh, Denmark's biggest exports musically over the last couple of years are these three young men here. Wakas, Isam, and Lenny. You're outlandish. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much. So, uh, your music is known for its clash of cultures, different musical styles. How does that actually work with the band? I mean, it's quite easy. It's just a part of who we are as persons. I mean, basically, we live in Copenhagen, a uh, big city, a lot of different cultures. And uh, what we do is basically big city music, urban music, hip hop, call it what you want. And we draw from a lot of different uh, ethnical, you know, uh, musical uh, inspirations from all over the world, and mainly from Pakistan, Morocco, and uh, Cuba, Honduras. Uh, and it's, like you said, a big clash of things coming together. Now, in Europe, you guys are massively mainstream. Loads of number ones. What, what's that been like, you know, actually being up there at the top of the charts, mm. being almost like a poster band? <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, uh, you get to uh, do, you know, concerts where people are, like singing you songs and uh, knowing every lyric, uh, lyrics, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know, I mean, just to do a show in, in Portugal and do a show in, in Germany and, uh, you know, people feeling the same thing. And it just shows, like, you know, music is a universal thing. Uh, and also when we do gigs here in London, it's like, uh, you really get a lot of love. For lo I mean, London is like it's such a big city. I mean, the whole world is in this city. But it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to see what the Asian community actually has achieved over here musically and culturally. That's, that's, that's uh, it's not something you see in uh, that many European countries. What's interesting about your mainstream success is you've done it whilst you've worn your religions on your sleeve and in your music, whether it's Islam or Catholicism, how have you managed to keep those sides balanced? It's the influences of, of, of what music we, we grew up with, you know, uh, listening to, growing up with hip-hop, it's, it's, it's always been about writing about your life, you know, and, and uh, music is, a, is somehow a private thing, just like religion is a private thing. Um, but uh, you, you talk about it, you write about it, you use it in a, like, it's almost like, I mean, therapy, you know. Uh, and that, I think that's the beautiful thing. I think it would be a shame to just, you know, hide something for, for the people. I mean, because at the, at the end of the day, you would hide something for yourself, too. Uh, so it's all about um, finding new ways to explore yourself uh, and, and, and trying to give people, uh, yeah, a bit of you. Just how does religion actually affect your music? It's not to the sense that it affects it, like some said, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, if I'm a religious person and I practice my religion every day, it's going to have an effect on me, of course, and uh, writing about our lives, I mean, it's a natural thing, it's not even something you think about, it's just part of the package somehow, yeah, you know, yeah. it's not something you put on, it's something you are, you live and breathe it, uh, not to the extent that we live in a cage or something, and write our music, I mean, it's nothing to do with that, I mean, we're part of the society and, and religion is... Uh, is part of our life, like the culture is part of our life, the Pakistani culture is part of my life, Danish culture is a part of my life, and uh, my religion is also that, you know? so it's, it's a whole package, so it's all good. Plans for 2008? Plans for 2008. New album, I guess. We're working on a new album right now. Uh, hopefully it's going to be finished 2008, so we'll see. Well, we'd love to, I mean, like, come to UK and uh, do some more gigs over here. I mean, just the, yeah. the shows that we've done here in London has always been amazing, and, and to feel like you know, the crowd and, and, and uh, the people who's filling our music, it's, uh, it's such a beautiful thing. And it always amazes us, like, you can go from one country to another and, and, uh, and hear people sing along your songs, you know, so definitely looking forward to it. Now, after performances tonight, will you come with me on a CD trip around the underbelly of London? I would love to because you're such a funky guy, you know. Just look at your hair, man. <laughs> just, just, I'll go with you anyway. 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 All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go.